All he needed was some encouragement, so I dug out my sexiest outfit and waited. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Leave me alone. <laughs> Don't you want to hear what your dad and his tie got up to next? It's not like she holds anything back. It's all in there. Get lost. <laughs> Us? We didn't write this, did we? Uh, what's going on there, lot? Dan, just leave it. Yeah, Dan, nothing to do with you. Apart from how his dad's mate, you mean? <laughs> oh, this guy? Yeah, dead scary. Ooh. Right, I might find out. Get him, shall I? Or you can do one, it's up to you. See you at school. We'll be waiting. Nice. What's all that about? It's nothing. I can handle it. Don't need a babysitter. Hmm. I'm not having a go at her or anything, but this erotic fiction gives them ideas, doesn't it? It's a good thing, isn't it? Depends what the ideas are, Eric. Mm. That reminds me, Eric tablets. <laughs> Right. Six down, extremely good, ten letters. Second letter, R. It's got your attention, yeah, Grandad? Open the till. You always hide your faces, do you? Yeah, man. You like dressing up. That's it. It's not much. The see. Where is it? Safe? <laughs> there is no safe. Do you think we're stupid, Eck? Well, yeah, you're here, aren't you? Oh, if I was a few years younger. Safe. Go! What you still can! You've got what you want! You made me do that! <laughs> what, what, Grandad? Speak up. I can't hear you. No! Let's go. We're done. No! Uh, 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 Hello? Uh, I need an ambulance. <laughs> Honestly, right now Superman's out there shopping for a Dan Spencer costume. I can't wait to tell everybody at school. OK, you's going, I'll sort this bin out. OK. Ooh. What do you want? Just came to say hello to the big hero. Oh, just day one, yeah? We were just wondering, why were you hiding in the shop? Like, why didn't you do anything? What were you scared of? I'm frightened of you. You know about my family. You need to go where I'll call the police. Your missus, mate. Punching above your weight there, aren't you? She's way hot. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and we know all about your family, too. And we know where you live. Is that a threat? Yeah. Of course it is. It's Dan, innit? We'll see you later. Dan, that man. And tonight, have a think about whether it's a good idea to pick us out of the lineup tomorrow. Us, nothing to lose, but you. Lunch. Cheese, pickle, ham mustard sandwich, buttered right to the edges. Ah, right, thanks, love. Kerry never bothers. Well, she says she does, but you can tell. Least I can do now you're the hero. I was telling my mates about you. Yeah, look, um, listen, love, uh, there's something you should know about me. Here he is, lads. Look at him. A man trying to ruin our promising young lives. What do you want? You're enough trouble as it is, so why don't you just. You leave us alone. Don't know what you're talking about. We aren't in any trouble. We've got an alibi, haven't we? Right. Both off school sick yesterday. Got home all day with his families. Ask the police. They know. I'll soon see through your lies, you know. Oh, dear. Hope we haven't spoiled your lunch. You don't know who you're messing with. Never mind. It's your lucky day. <laughs> Are you all right? Pigs. Come on, guys. Yeah. Joke's on them. Love a beef and onion pasty. Hey, hey, hey. We're OK. We're OK, yeah? They threw a pie at him. He didn't want me to say anything, but it was horrible. Dad was really brave, though. Well, that's your dad. He's always brave, and don't you ever forget it. See you later, and try not to worry. Go on, mate Scarlet will be on the bus. Go on, before you miss it. Oi! I don't think that you scare us, because you don't... Just go and pedal off to your mummies. Oh, could just stay here. Reckon it'd be more fun. Do you think you're a big man? Do you 
not, you're a pathetic little boy. And your bloke's a pathetic liar. We didn't rob that shop. Got it. What, you're bored of terrorising defenceless old men now, is that it? Right, OK. Who are you calling? Dan the man. No, I'm not calling anyone. I'm going to film you. Do you need some help with that? Hey! Here he is. Come on, lads. Better go. What's happened? You OK? I think they lost interest when they thought I was going to film them. Right, that's it. Exactly. Show's over. Let's go back inside. Yeah. The graffiti's one thing, but I'm not having my family dragged into this. Just leave it. There's nothing that you can do. That's what you think, is it? Well, you're wrong. Dead wrong. Damn what you're doing. Don't be stupid. Hiya. What's the matter? You look surprised to see me. Dan, are you coming in? Yeah, yeah, in a minute. <laughs> Why don't you leave us in peace? Doubt you get much peace with that gobby cow in there. What's your mouth? No, I think it's you who needs to watch his mouth. What are you doing with that? Put it away. You went to the police again. Didn't we tell you? We're innocent. Bad move. You're a liar. And you're a wimp, aren't you? Go on. I want to hear you say it. If you want to go to prison for a long time, you've got the right way about it. I'm not going to prison full stop. You understand? That kid of yours back from school, yeah? Keep away from my family. Thing is, I can't really do that now, can I? You keep running to the police. I'm getting a bit sick of it. You get me? What do you expect? Better to get away with it after what you did. But you know what? Actions have consequences. That's right. They do. Yeah, I came in earlier. Dan Spencer, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I was in a bit of a state before. Yeah, and, and um, I'm not denying them kids were giving us a load of jit, but that's because I made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, me, me head was all over the place in there. Uh, like it wasn't them kids who robbed the shop. So uh, I, I need to, you know, retract my statement. I got it wrong, yeah. Dead wrong. Hey! What are you doing? The Josh and James. This is not a good idea. You know what they're like? Yeah, well, I'm not scared of them. Well, you might not be. What if they go for Eric again? Or target our Amelia? She's back home tonight. Well, we can't let them terrorise us. Well, there's no point encouraging them, is there? It's nothing to do with us. We were just uh, passing, weren't we? Hey, does he look innocent to you? You are dead. Look, it wasn't him. Just go home, son. He's not going anywhere. You're thick. I said it wasn't him. I'll trash your bike. You just touch me. Hey, Dan, I've got this. Just go home, eh? Hey, he doesn't like being touched. You need to learn some respect. Just get lost. You try to tell me what to do. So people get hurt. Oh, yeah, go on then. Beat me up. Four against one, very big and clever. Oh, it's like he's begging for it. Nah, too easy. You owe me a new bike, mate. As if. I'll pay for your wheel. No, you pay for a new bike, or your little Amelia gets an haircut. I told you before, do not threaten my family. I'm just chilling, minding my own business, and you wreck my 400 quid bike. 400? Hardly. That's what it's going to cost you. Fair price to keep your missus and kid out of trouble. I'll get you the money. Meet me at the cricket pavilion tomorrow at five o'clock. Hey! Get away from him. Get the mouth from her. How'd you put up with it? Do you hear? Just go in. See you tomorrow. What's he on about? What's happening tomorrow? Leave it. Yeah. <laughs>
Hello? Emergency! Ambulance! He's got a nasty cut on his head, about half a centimetre deep, and his pulse is getting weaker. How long's he been unconscious? I don't know, just found him like this. When was that? Uh, about ten minutes ago, just before I found you. So you don't know him, then? No, no, no I was just uh, passing by. Are you going to be all right? Well, let's hope so, eh? Hey? Mm. What we got here, then? Looks like he's been attacked. Right, well, if everything's OK, I'll get off. If you could just hang on a minute, sir. Sorry? I'm going to have to take your details. But I've just found him like this. I don't know anything. All the same, I need to ask you a few questions. <laughs> 